Hello guys, I am Piotr and today we gonna see few wonderful places in southern Norway and I think you didn't know about them before. This trip was one of those that are perfect from the beginning and I am not talking about the route only, but the atmosphere, the will to drive, the places, the weather and all that. Trip took place in the beginning of September and in Norway it's time when it can be very cold at higher placed roads, but due to warm air front we could enjoy even 25 Celsius during the day and still around 5 to 10 at night, which was a great result. Welcome to one of our best weekend trips in 2023. <music> We started as usual right after work on Friday. The whole route for this weekend had a little over 1000 kilometers and due to that we wanted to ride as much as possible the first day. That's why we came on our wild camping spot around 10 pm after almost 300 kilometers done. We slept in woods between Gardnus and Turpu and we have never been here before so we were a little stressed about our chances to find a good place. And in Norway there is always a possibility that you will meet a gate across the road and that's it, you have to turn back. But we were lucky, we found a spot right beside the road and beside the river, that's what we heard at least, it was pure black, no lights, no city around us, nothing. When I was very young and I lived in Poland, I remember how many stars was on the night sky. That was something so amazing for me as a child that I remember this all that time. Since then it was hard to see so many stars due to light pollution and due to living near bigger cities. And that night in those woods I felt small again. After a few minutes the sight got used to darkness and then we saw so many stars that it was unbelievable. We finally set up tent, ate a little and we went to sleep. I managed to took this outstanding night photo so you can also see how great the spot was. Morning welcomed us with possibility to check where we have slept. It was still very foggy but luckily pretty warm. This is our neighborhood. It's really nice here. It's beautiful. Mm -hmm. Normally we start to ride around 10 am, but this time we had a very long distance to beat and few extremely interesting points, so we started before 9. The road from here was just a forest gravel road, mostly along high voltage line and everything was great until we came by by chain placed across the road. In my head was already a scenario when we need to go all the way back and around with main road, 2 hours of riding more, easily. But after examination of our blockade we saw one link that was meant to be for opening, so trip was saved and we could hit the road. Right before getting down from mountains to the cities we had this nice viewpoint. It was first time this day we saw something more than fog and forest and our mood became better immediately. And guys, fasten your seatbelts now because from this point I am gonna show you a few most beautiful places we have been in 2023 in Norway. is located near Yailu, which is a great spot connecting many wonderful roads. If you want, you can take a hike on Hallingskarve. 
is that huge mountain that you saw and imagine how great views must be from there. On Presthul Setter is a restaurant and a coffee shop if you want to eat something there. From here we took the road over Hardangervita, which is 67 km long and goes over Norway's biggest plateau. This is a very high placed road, so expect harsh and cold conditions here, even in summer. And I found another great spot in this area. It's a detour from Uver Eidfjör and it will take you really high through very twisty, narrow and steep gravel road to another parking spot for hiking. What is great here is how close and big surrounding mountains are. The valley that you're gonna ride through is really beautiful, but be very careful here. There are many hairpins with very steep turns and the road is so narrow that sometimes two cars can pass by. Beside that, the road is great. Hardanger Bridge turn towards Ulvik. This town is really beautifully placed, but it's also known for its famous cider. I was there two times before, but always after closing time. This time we were fully prepared to buy some good bottle for evening. <music> We took this road not only for that. Really close to Ulvik is Usa, where you can take one of most magnificent roads in this area, Usa Fjellsvajen. I was in many great places in Norway, but this one is definitely in my top 3 of all time. It's a road that leads to water power plants in mountains and it costs 100 korons. Is it worth it? Definitely. And now let's admire this road and great landscape here.
must say I wasn't prepared for mind-blowing views and landscape on Usafia's Vine. This road can amaze like no other and please ride it if you will be in Norway. After getting back to Ulvik we decided to skip our last point on the road number 13 and ride directly to camping spot. And this camping is also one of those must see, placed just few kilometers from E16 in Undredal village but guys the road there is great and camping is placed around 50 meters from the edge of our lands Fjorden. We came by night, placed our tent and went to see the fjord. We paid only 200 korons at morning which is a great price for spot like this. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That would be a great reward for us for showing you all those places here in Norway. See you in the next episode guys. Bye.